Hello and welcome back to Physics But Awesome. This video is going to be a bit of an experiment really because I've taken what would normally be one longer video and split it into several smaller parts. Let me know what you think about this, how you like it. In this first video we will start off with the problem of demarcation, which is where exactly do you draw the line between science and pseudoscience? Cargo cults. The Pacific Ocean is absolutely huge. It covers around a third of the entire surface area of the Earth and is essentially the largest named area on this planet. And when the US was fighting the Empire of Japan in World War II, they somehow had to bridge this gap. They used every single little island and atoll along the way as supply bases and airfields. Some of these islands were actually inhabited and some of them had been isolated from the rest of the world for literally centuries. So the inhabitants had never seen an aircraft or a rifle or anything like that before. And very often the US military tried to get on the good side of these inhabitants so that they wouldn't mess up any plans. And they gifted them food or clothing or little trinkets or stuff like that. After the surrender of Japan, some of these islands no longer served any purpose militarily so the US forces uh, abandoned them. The island population uh, didn't really understand why and they had come to very much like what the strangers brought in, the cargo, and they wanted more of that. And therefore they went on to rebuild the bases using the materials they had at hand. So they built aircraft and hangars and uh, antennas out of wood and straw and bamboo and whatever they had. They even paraded around in their gifted uniforms holding sticks instead of the rifles just so that it would look the same as it had before. They replicated everything in form as best as they could. But no ships or no aircraft would turn up and no more of the desired cargo would arrive. And this entire phenomenon was later called cargo cults. The entire history of cargo cults is more complex and has many more influences like for example Christian missionaries because those guys are everywhere. So this is just a part of the picture but it's the one that is pertinent to our story about pseudoscience. The demarcation problem. So in the first video of this science series <laughs> we already tried to define what science is. And if there is science, there's also non-science. This in itself isn't noteworthy per se because not everything is science or art or passion or whatever. It's just a thing. However, there are things that are not science but pretend to be. And these are usually called pseudoscience, uh, stemming from the Greek word pseudis for false or lying. And that's exactly where the idea of demarcation comes in. If there is a difference between science and pseudoscience, you must be able to draw a clear demarcating line to distinguish the two. And while this sounds convincing, I have two objections with this. So first, I find it way too simplistic and way too naive to take two meaningful categories from reality and think that you can draw a neat boundary line between them. It's just the universe is not as simple as that. And I, don't, I, I can't think of any example where this would be true. There is never just a clean cut border. It's always fuzzy or gradual or, or there's overlap or it's even fractal. Look at this. This is a simple visualization of two categories like science or pseudoscience and the very complicated boundary lines between them, if you can even speak about boundary lines. This is what's called a fractal and um, the boundary between the black and the white areas is very complex. And if you zoom in on the boundary, all you get is more complexity. You get self-similarity, you get self-replicating of the patterns. So you have an intricate pattern and you zoom in and all you get is even more intricate pattern. It never becomes simple or clear cut, it's complexity all the way down. And applied to our example, you could say that the more you get into the details, the more other details will surface. So it will never become simpler. And the second point is even worse because the conclusion is, 
If you cannot draw a clear line between science and pseudoscience, neither really exists. Under this logic, nothing in reality would exist because it's never simple. It's always fuzzy and complex and fractal and messy. There are areas that are clearly science and there are areas that are clearly not. And there are many complicated areas in between. Don't waste your time trying to define the border. Rather, try to define what these categories look like in the asymptotic case, far away from the border. This way we will get criteria for science and pseudoscience, so the clearly white and black areas. And we'll just have to deal with the gray areas in between. And this seems like the perfect point to end this video on and pick up again with the next one. So, see you soon!